ideas for you to live a healthier January, February, and 2014. Now, this is going to be a fun hour, so sit back, relax. If you're anywhere in the house folding laundry, doing whatever, just take a break. Sit down, fold your laundry in front of the television, because we're going to eat, but we're going to eat healthy. Let me show you what's coming up. This is from Fogar, and it's a, just an age-old company that has developed this amazing product that is a halogen oven, and it's a 12-quart, 1,200-watt halogen oven that uses a fan, so it's based on similar to convection technology, but because there's a glass vessel, cleanups are a cinch, you can roast, you can bake in it, you can saute, you don't need any extra fat and butter and it's $59.95. Plus, it's on three flexible payments today and your choice of black or red. Just last month, Kelly Deirdring was here and we sold it out and I was panicking that for January, February, we would not have it in stock because it is the perfect thing to have. I think we were able to round up 1,250 of them at this uh, price of, what, $59.95, which is a $30 savings. Yeah. Kelly. Hi. <laughs> you know, we were both nervous yes. that we wouldn't have this for January and February. Yeah, I'm, and, and you I didn't pulled know. some strings, I know, and well, he is always good about getting I just said, we have got to have this back. <laughs> it's just crazy. It so is. So start from the very top for yes. the few people who don't know about Fogar. Okay, this is Fogar. They're a Spanish company, they're a European company, and they're a very forward-thinking company. If you think about kitchen appliances, Europe is light years ahead of us. So they're constantly, like, we're getting things two and three years behind what the Europeans already have. Thankfully, Fogor brought it over here, which I absolutely love this oven, because it has halogen convection and infrared. Those three cooking technologies typically are not affordable in your big box oven at home. Most of us don't want to pay six, seven, eight thousand dollars for an oven with those three cooking technologies. That's reserved for like the five star restaurants that need those three cooking technologies. Now you can have them all on your countertop. And my favorite part about having this kind of an oven is that you never have to preheat or defrost. That's so you're going to hear me talking about that a lot because that's a pain point in my life is preheating and defrosting foods. If you forget to defrost your food or leave it out, let's say in the morning, what do you do? I used to stop by fast food. We used to order a pizza. We forgot to thaw the meat. It was like our excuse. Okay, we'll get a pizza. It's or you stick it in the microwave right. and you hit the defrost button and it ends up half cooking it like rubber. Ruining your meat. Right. That's the worst. But now you can do it without preheating or defrosting all because you have those three cooking technologies. It's going to cook food three times as fast. So we're going to do some steaks. This could be frozen chicken breast. It could be frozen salmon. Anything that you have already in your fridge or freezer you know, that you, that you already have is what I'm saying. You don't have to go out and get anything special. So this is a hard frozen steak. And are the potatoes cooked or not These cooked? are the bagged frozen potatoes. Uncooked? Uncooked. Uncooked, okay. Yes. They're seasoned. And then we're going to put in our frozen steaks. Oh and then you gosh. can do asparagus, broccoli, tomatoes. We like to do garlic in my house because we are a garlic family. My husband said there's no such thing as too much garlic. We're going to roast some garlic all at the same time. But what I love is that you're able to do the double layer cooking. You can see right here. We've got potatoes, and then we've got our steaks up here. You're getting both of these racks, so don't think these are like an add-on or an upsell. You're getting these, so you can do double layer cooking. So you can do your veggies on the bottom and your meat on the top. Then this is how easy it is. You just pop the lid on top, you shut the handle down, and then all there is is two buttons. You just need to know your temperature, which is the same um, temperature you would put your normal oven at. Okay, so let's say normal oven, you're going to put it right here. Up to 480 degrees, we go from 250 to 480. Then we have a time feature, and we're going to go there at 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes' time, my steaks are going to be completely and perfectly cooked, and my potatoes and my roasted garlic all at the same time. You can see the halogen light went on. That is what instantly heats your oven. So, Bill, you know when you preheat your oven? Yes. It takes like 10 or 15 minutes. This is going to do it instantly. You can see right there, that's the circulating uh, convection technology. So that's going to evenly cook your food. It's going to cook it three times as fast. Then you can see those arrows going down. That's infrared technology. It's an invisible technology that you don't see. But that's what cooks your food from the inside out, actually sealing in the moisture. So those three cooking technologies, we're going to talk a lot about them. They really matter in a countertop oven. Do you hear these bells going off? <laughs> that is the sound of food 
prepared. Yes. And these were all set up about 30 minutes before the show oh, started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got like double roasted chickens. <laughs> we've got a pie. We've got hot wings. You're doing two steaks, steaks. from hard frozen. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up our talk line. The last time that Kelly and I were on together, I know for a fact that we left, I think it was 500 customers in the ordering process who missed out on the Fogar um, oven. This is crazy. We have 1,240 of these to start the show. Call us with your testimonials. The number to call is 1-866-376-8255. Be part of the fun and share the wealth of knowledge of why you love your Fogar oven. Now, the handle, which you brought up the point, is yes. not just there to, to turn it on, but it locks in the on position so that when you do open it, I'm, am I correct? It yes. shuts off. That's it's right. a safety, safety feature. feature. Absolutely. Okay, so what's You're going on inside right. this one? Okay, so normally we do a 16-pound turkey in here, which you can do a 16 to 18-pound turkey, but because this was so popular and it came in last minute, we didn't have time to get a turkey. But we can do two of our chickens. So these are both five pound chickens Beautiful. and they're gorgeous. This is the thing. It's actually because of that infrared going to give you the crispy exterior. You can see I'm going to remove that extender ring. We're going to talk about it in a second. And you do get that extender ring mm -hmm. with uh, the oven. So if you're doing uh, like a, a spiral ham or a turkey or two chicken, you've got, oh, look how First brown all, that I'm gonna is. I'm going to do my little crispy. I put my microphone down here. Okay. Beautiful. Who does not like that crispy exterior on a turkey or a chicken? You're not supposed to eat that skin, but how many of you go past all the good stuff in this? My mom used to say that. She goes, that's all the good stuff. That is all the, the good stuff. The seasoning is on the top of the chicken. <laughs> you don't want to take it off. Well, because of the way this cooks, all the seasoning gets infused. So when it's this smaller surface area that you're cooking in, it's going to be a juicier meat because of the infrared technology. So you can hear it as I put my knife through that. Can you hear it crisping? First of all, oh, and then look, look at the juices. At this meat. I mean, look at how juicy this chicken is. Your turkey's gonna be the exact same way. Can you see that? Look at the, just my knife. Just look at the liquid glistening off of my knife there. Okay, it is going to be cooked to perfection every single time. Now, a six, how long, honey, did these two cook? Uh, that's take? a that's a great question. This was just over an hour. An hour for two. Two. And they're uh, not dry. They're, but they're huge. They're they're over five pounds. I think these that's are almost six. Ten pounds of chicken yes. and. And roasted, they look like they're rotisserie chickens. They do, and they taste like it. Look at You've the You've got to try this. Listen to me. Look at the juice. We, we were on together. I couldn't stop eating, which is it's going to happen again, I think, even though I had lunch. Yep. Look at this white meat chicken. And usually, and this is the healthiest part. I mean, if you're trying to do something healthier, the white meat most people go yuck to because it's usually dry. Mm -hmm. Look at that white meat. You can see. It's so juicy looking. Mm -hmm. It is. And it is. Genuinely juicy. Well, mm. that's what I say about this um, this oven. If you just do, if you just get it to do chicken and turkey and like maybe poultry, okay? Say you just get it and you're only doing your poultry, your chickens mm. every couple of months, your turkey two, three times a year. It's worth the price of admission at this price because this is the lowest price I've ever seen it or sold it. So I get really excited because a lot of people gave this a customer pick status at the higher price and you get all of the pieces included and we're going to talk about those. Well, let's do that very quickly. You receive not only the Fogar oven, which again uses halogen and convection technology, maximum amount of power required for a machine like this. You also get a grill that you can use so that if you want to grill salmon, you can. The extension ring is what Kelly was using to show you how you can elevate the lid and you get a pizza pan, which you can use for a variety of things, including appetizers and of course, pizza. Now we're gonna, I think, I think we make a pizza, don't we, in the show? Yeah, we're gonna do a pizza after this. Now, yeah. oh, 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 look at this look, pie. Look, yeah, our producer's like, the um, bell went a pie off. on that table. The bell went off, <laughs> yes. and I thought, do we want to get that crispier? This no. is like Pavlov's dog, yeah, no. This is <laughs> gorgeous. So you're gonna bake in this oven. You're gonna bake, broil, dehydrate, barbecue, and you're gonna bake with your own bakeware, I might add. Okay, so I get really excited about that because there's no special bakeware required with this oven, but your pie is actually going to be done three times faster. I'm gonna give you all the goodies down here. <laughs> but three times faster, you can see that the crust is totally evenly browned. Mm. I'll give you a little dollop of whipped cream here. And you know, plus to your point, when you're doing using the oven, usually you use it for the entree. If you want your pie to come out at the end of the meal and be hot, you don't want it sitting on top of the stove getting cold. You have a separate oven where you can do the turkey in the oven, the ham on the countertop, right. or the pie in the uh, fogar, and your turkey or ham or steak or, uh, you know, whatever you're preparing. That's right. You're going to love it. Now, let's see what this Oh, and I want to talk about everything you get, mm. because what 
I love about Fagor is that they include everything oh, in the package and it's not this. always included. It's homemade. Yeah, it is. This is not a store-bought pie. <laughs> no, it's not a store-bought pie. You can do the store-bought pies, of course. You could, we're going to run the animation of the technology because this is how it works. You can actually see the infrared. Those are the lights going down. That's what cooks your food from the inside out. The circulating air right there, you can see it's going around the edges, is actually convection. That's what evenly cooks your food, giving you even browning, even cooking, and cooking it three times faster. And then it also has the halogen technology, which I'm going to show you here with, um, with the halogen light. Now, there's a book that comes with it, the halogen tabletop oven. It gives you not just how to you know turn it on and off, but it gives you recipes and how long to prepare those recipes so that once you start preparing and cooking food in the Fogar oven, you will also learn when you're making meals and dishes that you've already got recipes to how long to cook them and prepare them. There's the extension ring. You get, of course, the lid, which is part of the, um, the convection oven. Mm -hmm. You get the, the vessel, which can go right into the dishwasher. You get the pizza pan. We want to hear from you during this show. I, listen, I think this could sell out again. <laughs> There's 1,100 now left and remaining. With everyone shopping, it's always very popular. Well, I think people understand the value behind this, and you're not going to find a better price. Even just, just look online for us for a minute. Mm -hmm. What I'm showcasing right here is the convection technology. So you can see that the ping pong balls on the inside are spinning around. That's convection. What that means for you is that all of that superheated, supercharged air is spinning over every little bite, every morsel, every piece of your food. It's cooking it evenly. This is why convection is so expensive in a traditional oven at home. Then I'm going to lift this lid and show you the halogen light. This is what instantly heats up the interior of this oven, okay? This is why you never have to preheat or defrost. This is a big deal. You will not find this in other countertop ovens. The infrared technology is what I just talked about in the animation. It's invisible, but it's actually what seals the moisture inside, giving you that crispy exterior like we just demonstrated on our chicken. That infrared technology is nearly impossible to find in an oven. You will find it at most five-star restaurants. They're thousands and thousands of dollars, and they typically are not found in most homes. It's typically an industrial type of oven technology. Now we're going to do our pizza. Okay, and I'm, quite frankly, if you are trying to cut fats out of your diet, your doctor said, you know, listen, you've got to cut the cholesterol. You've got to cut the added fat, the added butters, the added oil. Try Fogar. You'll have food come out of this machine tasting so crispy and juicy and delicious. And if you want to make a pizza, Look how fabulous, yeah. I mean, you could, do, you, you could have two racks. You, you could have two racks. Prepare one, keep one warm. We're also giving you the pan. I think Bill mentioned that. And this is your lid holder, too, so that's what that's for. But for pizza, okay, here's my thing with pizza. I'm a pizza, frozen pizza family at my house. We do frozen pizzas. I'm going to admit it. Um, but it takes me 15 minutes to get my oven at home 425 degrees. And then I put my pizza in for 10. So my pizza takes me 25 minutes. Perfect time. Guess how long this will take. How long? 10. Because it's a 10-minute pizza. <laughs> now, it comes it's in black and it comes in red. We do have both of them. I want to find out which one is most popular and which one we have the most of. The red is the most popular. Of course, it's and gorgeous. you know what? It's really fun to add this for, with a, uh, into a stainless steel kitchen for a pop of color. You're going to love it in either one. And it, listen, you can cook and prepare food up to 480 degrees. Mm -hmm. You can dehydrate in this. That's as close to broil as it gets. Yeah, or if you're somebody that likes to dehydrate your food or do jerky, like your <sighs> venison jerky, mm -hmm. a lot of people are talking you see, hunting season. These wings went in here hard frozen in season <laughs> just when the show, about I swear to you, nine minutes before the show they, started. They did. Because I was out here and they were putting and they were putting the bag on the top and then the fries are in the bottom. This is your big, you know, your big game snacks and Perfect appetizers. for the big game. You can do, you, look, you, with this oven you can feed two or 22. I love saying that because it's like you can do two steaks, which we've done, or you can do, you know, multiple layers of air frying. So air frying is really popular. It's really hot right now we're all learning and listening about these air fryers and they're great machines but most of the air fryers out there only air fry this is going to air fry it's going to bake it's going to broil it's going to dehydrate it's going to do everything that your traditional oven does but it's going to do it three times faster how do those fries taste there's no grease in here. No oil, not even a teaspoon. Some of the air fryers even require a teaspoon of oil. These are so crispy. No oil. And listen, you want to hear listen you hear that? Oh my God. It's so crispy. <laughs> you hear me crunching. I know, this is amazing. I mean, no, no fat. Oil. So you actually, you actually reduce your calories when you take away the oil. But what you're doing is you're actually frying with hot air.
So you really are using kind of that similar frying technology, but you're doing it with hot air instead of hot oil, which means you're eliminating <clears throat> calories and you're not ingesting the oil. The other good thing is if you are doing any kind of party, whether it's just an appetizer party or really, you know, fall, 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 fall party where you're <laughs> bringing out really high end hors d'oeuvres. Oh, that again? Fall, 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 fall. fall. <laughs> you want the hors d'oeuvres to be hot. This way you have hot hors d'oeuvres constantly coming out. There's a timer on it, so when you set the timer and the hors d'oeuvres are done, they'll stay warm because the lid stays on there, but the element cools down instantly. I would recommend you go to hsn.com and read these crazy, outlandish, wonderful reviews. People adore the Fogar oven because it works, because it's dependable, because cleanups are easy. We're going to demonstrate this. This is the part that's going to convince you, if you're <laughs> even on the fence, why you should try yeah. it. Okay. You just put so, detergent in there, right? Yes. Yeah, so we just <laughs> took our air fry out of here, okay. and then I just put liquid detergent in there. Now, when you're at home, you're just going to run this under your sink and, and put it about a third full of water, okay? So you're going to put the water in. Okay. And so this machine is actually going to clean itself. There's nothing worse than a kitchen appliance that is different difficult to clean in my opinion. A lot of people don't purchase certain appliances because they hear they're difficult to clean. You give it a little whisk around if you'd like, give it some suds there, and then if you're smart you'll take like Bill's uh, fork that he was eating the pie with. Sorry, it's going in there. You take your cutlery. Oh, it's a dishwasher too. <laughs> it turns into a miniature dishwasher because it's going to get heated air and it's going to circulate and spin. It's going to clean your cutlery. It's also going to clean any did, small Did bedroom. I just tell you that was going to sell you? The last thing I like to do is the dishes. Okay, good. Because <laughs> look, this is going to do it for you. So there's actually a feature built into this. It says wash. This isn't something we just came up with. They thought of this, I, which I love. That's what I mean about European country um, um, being progressive in, in those ways. So you can actually see it start to spin. The suds are going to go to the outside and drag down any oil or grease or grime. And the inside water is going <laughs> to heat up and turn into a miniature is dishwasher. Is this the most intelligent countertop oven you've ever seen? Yes. It cooks, it bakes, it broils. It, it, it'll let you do appetizers, make them crispy. It air fries. And then it's a dishwasher. So listen, try it out. You have nothing to lose. You do receive our 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. So get it home and prepare a meal. That's my suggestion, and Fogar would also support that. If you are not consciously thrilled out of your mind with the results, send it back. That's one of the things I love about HSN. You receive our 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. You're not going to send it back. You're going to say, thank God I ordered this. What in I the always tell daylight go, is this? Well, first of all, this is our roast, okay? Ooh. This is amazing. But Now, you don't want to mess up and overcook this. Well, this is the thing. This is what I love. If you can get the less expensive cuts of meat, go for it. But when you do go out and buy the expensive cut of meat, right. the last thing you want to do is ruin it in your oven by getting it dry. Do you know what I mean? A lot of us are worried about getting a prime rib or a nice roast because it's like, oh, man, am I going to ruin that $50 piece of meat? not in this oven. The other thing is, I always envied the way my grandmother cooked. She cooked these hearty homemade meals that it's like, man, I wish I could do that. But you know, grandma you spent all day <laughs> in the kitchen. Literally, she spent all day. I remember she was in there all day. Maybe your grandmother or your mother did as well. But now you can actually have those kind of hearty homemade meals, but not have to spend all day. So you can actually have look at this grandmother's cooking meat. without spending you the know, entire day in the kitchen. And look at how perfectly it's cooked. A roast like Every this time. is so time Every sensitive. Time. If you put this in the oven on convection roast or roast and you overdo it by five minutes, it will be so dry, like yes. shoe leather. Look at the vegetables. They're as bright as though you just picked them, but they, it's because they're air prepared, mm -hmm. air heated, instead of, you know, boiled to death where they, they turn color, you know, colorless and listless. Look at this carrot. When was the last time that you made carrots and they came out looking like that in That's a pot a really of water? Great point. They start turning brown, they start getting mushy. That's a healthy carrot. That's because we're actually able, if we can get an overhead shot, we're able to cook up and off of their own oils. When you're actually roasting these in the oven, most of your veggies are kind of sitting there soaking up their own oils, even as they drip down. It's a less healthy way to cook. When you cook on a rack like this, and when you cook in a small space like this, mm -hmm. it's going to be infused with the rosemary, because there's nowhere else for the rosemary to go but into the potatoes and into mm. the carrots and the radishes. And it's not going to be sitting in its own oils, which means they're going to be crispy. And the true test of a veggie, of a veggie when you roast it yep. is exactly what Bill just said. If it's the same color cooked as it was raw, you've retained the nutrients. You're eating a healthier carrot. You're eating a healthier potato and radish because you haven't leached all the nutrients out of it. 
in an oven, it just evaporates. It kind of su right. sucks the moisture out of it. You know, I'm going to tell you, I don't, I'm going to be really honest. I don't usually like rosemary. Like rosemary chicken, I don't like it so much. But the flavor of the rosemary infused into the vegetables is enough. Do you know what I mean by that? It's like when you use too much of something and you're preparing food. It's giving you the flavor of rosemary without being so intense you just want to like leave the room. I'm going to give you another heads up here. We, this is the first time back, I think, was it a month ago? About a month ago, probably three weeks. First time back in three weeks. They were able to get their hands on 1,243 of these. We've only got 400 of the red left. So it's on its way to another sellout. It happens every time. I don't know why we don't just keep this as a, you know, maybe they can't make them fast enough. <laughs> we should just keep it as a standard well, it's a stock special, it's, a spe it's a special technology. I mean, the way that these are built, you mm. don't often find those three cooking technologies, the halogen, the convection, and the infrared. I heard our steak. So we've got fish, but we got to get to the steaks first. Let's oh, go here's... this way, and then we'll go this way. Back. Okay. I do. I do want to get to my steaks. fish is tricky, too, because if you overcook, overcook fish, it's so dry, you don't want to eat it. Remember about 10 minutes ago, these were frozen? Yeah. Oh, they're, my God. They're done. And look at the garlic. I wish you could smell. How long would that take to do garlic in your oven? That would take hours. And the reason you can do it in here, and it's roasted to perfection. I mean, you can see it's brown and crispy there. But these were 10 minutes, and that was from frozen. You know, I read a, set, a study, a scientific study that said we make less healthy choices for one reason, and that's because we don't have time to make a healthier choice. It's typically the number one answer most people give when they make a, one healthy choice or not over another when what they're eating is they don't have time. So we stop by fast food because it's convenient. But now you can do this in 10 minutes. So you can actually make a healthier choice and you can get, look at the, look at the inside of that steak. It is cooked to Ooh. perfection. Look, notice your plate's got two potatoes and mine's got eight. I know, I see that. <laughs> but I thought but you were going to... it's still gonna... healthier because there's no butter, there's no fat, there's no oil. Yeah. Notice that all the oil dripped off of the grate into the bottom of this grill. I'm going to take this and lift it up. Can you see inside? I don't know if our cameras can get it. Yeah. Look inside there. You see the drippings in the bottom of mm -hmm. this pot? And that just gets rinsed right away. It gets washed right away. You've got to call us if you want the red. The red, there's 350 left. That's it. That's it. And it's on its way to another sellout. And I just love this oven. You're going to love it for everything. You could make everything from pasta. You could make, if you want to, you could do baked goods in it. You could do cookies. Oh, you could bake cookies you in it. You could bake cookies. And my favorite is you can dehydrate in it. Dehydrating is becoming really popular so now. How do you dehydrate with the you rack? Put, you pop it on 480 degrees, which will actually dry up. Like, even if you wanted to do jerky, like a venison jerky or a buffalo jerky, okay. you leave it in for several hours. And then it's actually going to dehydrate your meat for you. I'm just saying that because it's a kind of a trend now. Everybody's kind of getting into it. Can you dehydrate fruit in this, yeah, too? Yeah, you can dehydrate your fruit. Fruit you can, can make be potpourri. dehydrated Absolutely. Look at our pizza. It's almost done. See, I would have never... Th I, th I didn't know that you have to heat, that you heat fruit to dehydrate. Yeah, you're you just... actually just removing the moisture. Oh, my gosh. You're Listen, removing the moisture. So you're using hot air to do it. I just think it's brilliant. Well, I know you're going to love it. I know you're going to enjoy using it. The roast came out beautiful. The steaks were delicious. The, uh, so, well, they're delicious looking. I didn't taste those. It's the one thing I didn't eat. <laughs> the I'll let you have them. Oh, God. Look at our I should not have eaten anything for lunch. Look at this These are salmon. salmon pen wheels. By the way, I don't know if we've even mentioned that it comes with a recipe manual. So a lot of these recipes are in the manual. So if you're looking at them and kind of drooling like we are, you're going to be able to make them yourself because they're in the manual. But look, at you've never had fish like this. In this type of an oven with those three cooking technologies, you're going to get crispy, crispy, flaky fish on the outside, moist and tender and juicy on the inside. And that's because of those three Ooh. cooking technologies working in tandem. Beautiful. Would you like some? Uh, Am I wait, another entree. This wait, is my this fourth entree. This is the first entree. for me. I have never fed I'm a host on air. I'm going to explode out here. Huh? I've never fed a host on air. It's a first. To eat salmon? No, I've never like physically fed a host on I mean, air. That's my dream, to be uh. in a desert <laughs> island fed by Kelly D. Dream. <laughs> that was really fun. Should we do it again? How is it? Delicious. Good. And that's the thing. So that was 11 I think minutes. That you forgot the vegetables, which is quite all right. When You should taste this salmon. That recipe is in the book. Let me grab the book. Because the book, I'm going to just mention some of the recipes. Listen, this has been on the air for just a couple of minutes again. This year, since the last sellout, and they're, all, they're half gone with everybody that's online. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, okay, here, cranberry, listen to this, cranberry crab meat appetizers. That one's amazing. Santa Fe veggie quesadillas, Southwest cheesecake, hot beef dip in a bread bowl. 
I mean, okay. that's what I mean. They're fun recipes. They're different and they're unique. You can make any recipe your heart desires that you would normally make in your oven. It's going to taste better. It's going to cook three times faster. Oh, ribs have to be incredible. Oh, ribs. 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 Any, yeah, any of your meats, any of those hearty homemade meals. I know you and I are the same, or, and I know you and I are. It's like we all kind of want those food, hearty yeah. homemade meals that we just haven't had time really to do or to go for, and now we actually can do it. You know what? I'm going to give you a recipe on my Facebook page. Join me on Facebook. I have a Brussels sprout recipe that you will just fall over when you taste it. Go to Bill Green on HSN. But there's one in here for roasted Brussels sprouts, and it's pretty simple. This is the healthier one. I'm going to give you the one that is a little, little dreamier. It's got maple syrup in it. It's unbelievable. Nice. Okay, roasted green beans, roasted onion. Look at this pizza coming out. Pizza. Mexican cornbread, roasted asparagus. Black brownies. Oh my gosh, you should, <laughs> with black beans and brownie mix? Okay, I'm going in for this pizza. Look I, at the, look at, there's pizza. black brownies in here. I love that you okay. opened that. It's, it's look great at this recipe, pizza. But look at the cheese. So you don't often get that perfectly brown cheese, but then look at the bottom here as well. It's perfectly done. The crust is crispy. It's browned. It's crunchy. You have a pizza in not 15 minutes, but in 10 minutes because there's no preheating, no defrosting. It's perfect. Just to recap, and we'll start down there. Yep. Oh, we, we really can't because we're wrapping. Oh, but, okay, we're going to wrap it up. But we had the steak. We did two chickens, two pizza, chickens. a, 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 a mixed, pie. mixed berry we pie. We did our air fry. Air fry. And you did look hot wings for the big game. That roast yes. beef, yep. unbelievable. <laughs> look at the salmon pinwheels. And our salmon. You, there's nothing you can't make in this, and you could also make cookies and pizza. You could do, you could, the sky is the limit. It's going to do it three times faster than your oven, and it's not going to dry your food out. All right, and it's a customer pick at the high price, so it's, read to remember, it's reduced from $89.95 to $49.95, and on three flex payments for $19.98. We're going to go to a short break, and then Mark Gill is here with a premiere you don't want to miss.